Hey, welcome back to my channel. So uh, today I'm looking quite glam on I? I've just filmed a video for Kate Middleton makeup. So if you want to have a look at that, pop over to my uh, makeup playlist and it should be over there soon. Um, yes, yeah, so I'm looking quite glam for a Wednesday, aren't I? Whew, feels quite nice to be dressed up and out of PJs. Okay, guys. So today I thought that I would talk to you about um, how to use the clear blue ovulation sticks, if you didn't already know. Um, they can be a bit tricky and they're definitely a little bit more complicated than the sort of very cheap pound shop uh, dipstick ones. But I do find them to be more reliable. This is not sponsored, by the way, just so you know. Um, so we're going to be talking about these ones here. Clear blue Ovulation test advanced digital. Uh, typically identifies four or more fertile days and it detects two hormones and you get 10 tests in a pack. It's quite pricey though. They're about 22 to 24 pounds, I believe. Um, but one of the things that has really helped uh, while on the Clomid and since has been these lovely clear blue tests. So I do kind of have a rough idea, but I wasn't finding the cheapy test to be that reliable. So what I've been doing is using these. So that's what I'm gonna explain in this video, how to use it and show you the different days where it's showing the three different uh, readings that it picks up. So it picks up a low fertility day, a high fertility day and a peak fertility day. So basically once you start seeing the high fertility day, that's when you, you're in your window and they recommend, it was recommended to me anyway, it's different for different people, but it recommended to me that in that window, you should be having sex either every day or every other day. And you should try and start that pattern just before your window starts um, and keep going just after. So <laughs> it's a big task. Make, make sure everyone's been fed and watered and is ready for the task because it's, uh, it's a mammoth week, you know, but all I'm saying is he's not complaining, so and neither am I. Um, very lucky in that department. <laughs> um, I mean, you got to take some positives from trying from TTCing, don't you? So might as well make the most of that side of it. Once you see the high fertility sign, it's definitely time to get jiggy. Um, and then just sort of test. I test each day during that week of ovulation. Usually, they say to a test. Um, Make sure that your pee is not too dilute because that can sort of affect the readings. I usually test at about one o'clock, two o'clock in the afternoon and that seems to give me the most accurate reading. Um, bear in mind, it can be low fertility one day and then skip to high the next. So don't skip a day, just test every day. You get 10 in a pack through that first week um, and that sort of gives you a reliable reading. Usually I get about four days of between high and peak fertility in my window and I tend to ovulate around day 16 to 18 in my cycle. Um, it does say on the box that if you're on fertility treatments like Clomid that can cause um, strange readings so it can give you a very high ovulation day when you're not ovulating and things like that. It also said to be um, cautious if you have PCOS, polycystic ovary syndrome, because that can show that you're not ovulating when you are or show false readings that you're ovulating when you're not. I definitely seem to be ovulating since I had the Clomid. Whether that will continue this cycle, I don't know. So, um, currently on day 16, so I'm gonna start testing today because my little app, which is the Glow app, which I'm really, really enjoying, um, has tracked that I should be coming into my window this week <laughs> and we'll start testing at once a day really probably and we'll see I mean I'm it's the second month off Clomid so I'm not sure how things are going to be so here it is how to use clear blue digital ovulation tests advanced hey guys so as I said before we're going to be talking about the clear blue digital ovulation test today so that's the clear blue advanced digital um and this is basically what I've been using um, during our time TTCing, which is now seven years. Um, more recently, I've been using this one. I started off using the fairly cheap tests, um, but when I started taking things like Clomid, I thought I'd better be trying to get more accurate with my testing. This is not sponsored, by the way, but I've been using Clear Blue for maybe about two years now, and I'm really happy with it. It's It basically just takes the guesswork out of it, and it makes it, I've found it to be really, really, I found you can really rely on it actually so I'm really happy with how it works for me so basically this is what it looks like and it says it typically identifies four or more fertile days over 99% accurate detects two hormones and so basically you get three different digital appearances on the stick 
So this one here, which is a circle with nothing in it, is, means you've got low fertility that day. It's not picking anything up for ovulation. However, be aware that that can happen one day and then the next day you can move into your ovulation window. So don't get too disheartened if you see that. Just test again the next day. When you see this circle here, which is the smiley face, which is flashing, that means you're now in the high ovulation stage. You're in your ovulation window. So during this time, this is the best time to be having sex. And I think they recommend sort of every day to every other day during this fertile window. When you get this symbol, which is a circle with a, a full circle with a smiley face, which is constant on the monitor, that's peak fertility, which means you either are ovulating that day or you have recently ovulated either side. So again, still time to be having lots of sex if you can. So that's basically it. Lots of information on the back. Um, simple accurate test proved to be 99% accurate detecting the luteinizing hormone surge LH surge um, two times more accurate than calendar methods tracks two hormones it means the only ovulation test that typically identifies four or more fertile days which is what I find I find if I test over a period of a week I will have at least four days that come up with um, high fertility so it's been really accurate for me and tracking it with a fertility app as well it, it really it all works together to make it you know easy to detect easy to plan um, and really helps with my planning and tracking of my cycle there's another clear blue ovulation test that's digital that one only detects two days though so it only detects low days and peak days so it doesn't have this lovely middle bit which is really really helpful um, it's a bit cheaper this one is generally about 22 24 pounds every month and i get 10 so so this is the uh fertility tracking app that i'm using at the minute which is called the glow app and it's saying that i should be ovulating in around five days time so today is cycle day 15 and i tend to ovulate between cycle day 16 to 18 i'll test every day for the next week until i see um peak fertility and then high fertility showing on the monitor and we'll go from there and we'll just aim to um be getting jiggy with it every single day really if we can as we've been advised by the fertility doctors so that's the glow app and i find that really really helpful to track all your sort of symptoms uh pop your period dates in and it obviously tracks your fertility and gives you insights and forecasts and things like that that's really been really really helpful to me so we're going to do this now so 10 tests in this pack um and this is what this is how they come so it's sealed sticks in a foil pack and your little monitor um and i recommend that you test in the afternoon so about one o'clock two o'clock that's when the level hormone levels the luteinizing hormone levels are supposed to be the highest from what i've been told so you take your stick get it out of the foil so there's your window the arrow pointing to show you which way to pop it into the device and it's covered so you're now going to slot it into the monitor until you hear a click with the arrow pointing towards each other so you can just hear it click in like that you know it's in this symbol will come up which basically shows that it's ready to test and then we're going to go pop it in our pee okay so i've just popped that into my pee off camera um so basically so pop your urine in a clean dry container Pop the stick in up to here for about 15 seconds. Um, try to make sure that urine isn't too dilute. So if you've been drinking lots of water, maybe wait a little bit longer. Um, so pop it in up to here, wait 15 seconds, and then this flashing light should appear on your display, which basically means that it's working and that it's starting to collect the results. And they advise about five minutes before reading the results, and that's roughly about how long it takes for it to come up. So we're just waiting now. I'm expecting to see possibly a high ovulation day to day if we're heading towards it, but we shall see. Hopefully, fingers crossed, we'll get the result we want today. So in your pack, you get 10 tests in the foil packages. I wouldn't test more than once a day, really, and I would say after lunch is probably best. Um, and then you get your information leaflet. So let's just pick out some of the information that it says gives a pretty good explanation and diagrams of what to do other symbols that can come up and what they mean so further information basically says 
This test works differently to other ovulation tests which detect one hormone. This test detects two key fertility hormones, oestrogen and luteinizing hormone, LH hormone. It's important for the test to establish baseline levels of these hormones, so start testing as advised and keep testing with the same holder until you see peak fertility. If there's no significant rise above the baseline level of hormones, low fertility is displayed. You may see a number of low fertility days before you see a high or peak fertility reading. Oestrogen rises in the days before luteinizing surge and prepares your body for ovulation. When an oestrogen rise is detected, high fertility is displayed each day until peak fertility is detected. High fertility is indicated as a flashing smiley face. If an oestrogen rise isn't detected or the oestrogen rise and LH surge are close together, you may not see high fertility. An LH surge happens about 24 to 36 hours before an egg is released from an ovary ovulation. When you see LH surge is detected, peak fertility is displayed and is generally displayed after low and high fertility. Peak fertility is displayed as a static smiley face. It does not flash and stays on the display constantly for 48 hours. If your LH surge is detected on the first day of testing, peak fertility will be displayed. You may not see low, high and peak fertility days every cycle. This is not unusual. Then it sort of answers some questions. Basically goes on to say, can any medication affect the result? It says some fertility treatments such as clomiphene, so clomid, may give misleading high fertility results. Peak fertility results should be unaffected. Okay. If you have recently stopped using hormonal contraception, your cycles may be irregular, so you may wish to wait until you had two cycles before testing. Uh, also, I know that so on the back of the pack it says clear blue digital ovulation test is not intended for contraceptive use and if you do not have menstrual cycles it is not suitable if you have recently been pregnant reached the menopause have polycystic ovary have polycystic ovarian syndrome or are taking certain fertility drugs women with medically di diagnosed fertility problems should ask the doctor if the product is suitable for them i mean i've been on clomid and obviously we're having fertility issues having tried for ten seven years now um but i found them to be really reliable um i didn't see much change when i was on the clomid and it was still pretty reliable so i'm quite happy with it to be honest with you. but i have heard that obviously with ovulation being such a big issue with polycystic ovaries um uh, that could mean that you, you don't ovulate and you might need some help so I'd bas basically just check with the doctor if you're not seeing any ovulation results that that make sense to you or if you sort of want some help with that okay let's go and check the results so it's showing low fertility again so I'm wondering if that means that I'm going to ovulate a bit later this cycle to be honest with you i haven't had any of the other ovulation symptoms which you ladies will all know about so i'm wondering if it's going to be a bit late obviously this is my second cycle off clomid now so things could be a bit affected um not sure really should be ovulating any day now but could just be a few days later so basically i'm just going to keep testing for the next week or so um hopefully i'm i would expect to see high fertility start to to show on the test tomorrow or the day after looking at this result today so when it does i'll include those results uh, in the video and show you what what we get on the monitor then and so that is the result so basically um that tells you that sort of circle on its own tells you that um it's a day of low fertility um, levels so uh, which I was expecting anyway but it's a good baseline and we'll keep going from here so even though yesterday's was um, low fertility showing I decided to test again today because I've got a few extras whereas normally I would have left it a few days um, but as you know this this cycle is so important to us I decided I'm probably going to test every day now really um, so it's now showing this sign which is the little flashing smiley face which um, indicates high fertility which indicates high fertility not peak but high so that's a good sign yay
since we were on the Clomid, we've just found that we need to kind of be extra careful tracking things and because I'm on special medication. So we need to kind of, you know, know what's going on really. Um, so that's basically what we've been doing since we started the Clomid. We're now on our second cycle off the Clomid. So we had six rounds of Clomid that didn't work for us, sadly. But I know it does work for a lot of people. So good luck to you guys that are, are trying Clomid and really hope it works for you. It does work for a lot of people. It didn't work for us six rounds. So we are now moving forward towards ICSI. But I've got to get my BMI down um, to get uh, funding here to do that because I'm over 35. So... We've got a bit of a mish on our hands, but we are feeling really positive this week and we're we're sort of doing our best heading into this next cycle and you never know. So keeping everything crossed for you guys out there. So if you can keep yours crossed for me, that would be wonderful too. So yeah, so one of the things we have been doing, we've both been taking prenatal vitamins and Mike's been taking sort of special vitamins for himself. Um, he's taking the Dr. Pixie, again not sponsored, supplement from Superdrug. They're little sachets that you pour into uh, water and they're supposed to have all the nutrients and good stuff and antioxidants and all the things that men need to, to make the you know what fabulous. He's also taking vitamin C um, and I'm taking the seven C's uh, preconception vitamins and they're quite cool because they come in the little blister pack um, kind of like the pill used to to remind me to take them um, and they've got the folic acid very important and the vitamin D as well as other vitamins um, can make you a little bit constipated though so be careful about that uh, too much information there but <laughs> uh, just be careful about that um, so the other thing we've been doing is eating really healthily the weight is starting to come off so I'm really happy with that trying lots of different recipes um, and just trying to exercise which is very difficult with my condition but trying to exercise as much as we can I'm walking a lot and that seems to be really helping so fingers crossed we're actually getting somewhere um but one of the things that has really helped uh while on the clomid and since has been these lovely clear blue tests i know they're expensive but i just think that for me where i've had pcos in the past and which i don't seem to have at the moment um and endometriosis i wasn't even sure if i was ever ovulating but I wasn't finding the cheapy test to be that reliable. So what I've been doing is using these. So basically, once you start seeing the high fertility day, that's when you, you're in your window. And they recommend, it was recommended to me anyway, it's different for different people, but recommended to me that in that window, you should be having sex either every day or every other day. And you should try and start that pattern just before your window starts um, and keep going just after. So... <laughs> it's a big task make make sure everyone's been fed and watered and is ready for the task because it's a it's a mammoth week you know but all i'm saying is he's not complaining so and neither am i um very lucky in that department <laughs> um i mean you got to take the positives from trying from TTCing, don't you so might as well make the most of that side of it i don't think i have pcos at the minute although i don't know if it ever goes definitely used to have it but I definitely seem to be ovulating since I had the Clomid whether that will continue this cycle I don't know and we'll see I mean I'm it's the second month off Clomid so I'm not sure how things are going to be I don't I definitely haven't in the past ovulated every month um my FSH levels were quite low when we visited the fertility clinic last month um I'm still waiting to go for my AMH blood test and I've got more scans booked in for next month so really it's just about losing continue to lose weight and keep our fingers crossed and hoping but we're not losing hope and we're going to keep trying every month um until we either start ivf properly or we get a natural result which would be so cool if we could get a natural result um but after nearly seven years i'm not holding out too much hope for that but you never ever know hoping all you guys get your miracles uh, very soon if you've been trying for a while like us and if you just started then good luck enjoy it it's really good fun and don't let it get you down just keep trying keep keep trying keep making it fun and uh, just try and enjoy it really it's not not that terrible don't get too hung up on the tests and things like that and if you are do what we did a little a year ago put them all in the bin and leave it for a couple of months and just let life carry on as normal and see what happens i know that works for some people sending you lots of love hope you enjoy this video he's got the rolling stones he but he only knows one song 
They think they're from the 60s, but they were born in 1991. 